Good morning, another beautiful day on the trail. Look at how pretty this is. In the high country with all the pines. And then you'll be able to see the trail over there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Partly cloudy, temperature, I have no idea, 60s. Maybe not that warm, but it's perfect. Perfect goal, and away we go. tree is so cool all twisty I don't know if it's a bristle cone but look the bark is like like feathers or as it starts to disintegrate <laughs> I bet your birds have a heyday with this making some nice give me a wig there's a little bridge going over the water source river <laughs> but it looks like there might be a water cache also so we'll check both Now I'm on the trail, the mountains on the other side of Big Bear Lake. What a beautiful view. Besides all of the trail being wiped out in so many of the canyons this year in the Southern California section, there are so many blowdowns and fall downs and knockdowns, I don't know, but just like all across the trail and uh, hats off to the uh, maintenance crews. They're not going to get it all done, but uh, they'll get a lot done. I don't know exactly why, but uh, I'm in extraordinary amount of pain today, so I am going to stop early, maybe 5.30 or 6, and make myself a nice dinner and just relax. The trail's been easy today, so maybe my body doesn't know what to do with that. Anyway, so I'm almost to a campsite. We'll see if there's room. And then I'm gonna settle down for the evening and relax. Well, I don't know if I was hallucinating in the night or what the heck is going on. Three times I woke up and had to blow up my air mattress. I wake up this morning and it's fine. So I don't know if there's a hole in it or I've lost my mind. I don't know. That's a bit odd, don't you think? <laughs> Today is another one of those days where we're hiking through the woods and as your feet crush on the needles and the leaves in the trail, it's just so wonderful smelling aromatherapy I mean I've always loved like all the woods on aromatherapy you know cedar uh, I think vetiver is one amber sandalwood some pines you know and uh, it just smells so wonderful it just is very calming for the soul for the spirit and even if you would just go out and just Go up to a picnic area and just enjoy the wonderful smells and sounds. It would be such a nice thing for your mind. And uh, something else I was going to say. Don't just walk through the woods once at Christmas when you go to the Christmas tree lot. Although that's amazing. 
truly amazing when you walk onto that lot. It's just like, oh my God, it smells so good. And with that as your backdrop, as you're hiking, oh my goodness, it's just a beautiful morning. The lake is calm, a couple boats roaming around. And uh, today should be an easier day. Got some up, a lot of down, so we'll see how the foot acts. Um, later on, we'll do a aches and pain roll call. <laughs> All right, hip. How are you feeling today? I'm hurting. Okay, we'll do this later. <laughs> Well, here's a real tangled up mess of one of the fallen trees over the road. There's a lot of firewood there. And then there's an older one up beyond it. This area is pretty barren from fire. Some strip mining going on over there. This guy is massive and scary. You just keep going. Okay, that guy scared me. He was so massive. I don't know if he was that long, maybe two feet long, I, I don't know, but he was just so thick. I felt like he could just jump up and wrap himself around my neck and just choke me to death. I've never seen one that color, but when I was walking along, I just heard a, he just did one little rattle and it sounded like a bird. And then I saw a movement and I looked and it was that giant rattlesnake. <laughs> and then, so I was trying to get his picture, you know, following him go up, and then he did that little rattle again. It sounds like a bird chirp. You know, that's it. Others, they'll sit there and rattle at you, I guess. The last one I saw just looked at me. <laughs> so anyway, that was scary. See the trail going along there and back again. Down the canyon. Another large burn area. And then the snow cap in the distance, I believe that's Mount Baldy. And if you can see the smog kind of in front, that's where I-15 goes down Cajon Pass. And that's my next uh, resupply. And also the McDonald's challenge. Another big burn. Now coming through an area where there's just these massive boulders, giant rocks. Don't want to be below them on an earthquake. Yeah. 